There are approximately 125 types of engines produced worldwide, but all of them have been overshadowed by SpaceX's latest engine, the Raptor 3. But more importantly, a variant of this super powerful engine called the Raptor Vacuum had emerged, somehow becoming an almost inconceivable marvel of engineering. However, SpaceX's new Raptor vacuum engine is more mind-blowing than you'd think. So let's check the specs and explore this and more in today's episode of Great SpaceX. The Raptor vacuum engine is basically a space version of the Raptor engines that will lift off from Earth underneath the Super Heavy booster. The vacuum engines have a much larger nozzle and are designed to operate more efficiently in the vacuum of space than the C-level versions of the Raptor. This variant of the Raptor engine will help the Starship travel through the vacuum of space by generating higher specific impulses in the vacuum. It's like a steering wheel that is responsible for letting the spaceship move smoothly in space. SpaceX already has the most powerful Raptor C level at the moment, but the Raptor vacuum engine is so much more than that. One measurement would be a specific impulse. This measures how much movement you get from each unit of fuel used. A full duration test of the Raptor vacuum engine was successfully completed in September of 2020 at SpaceX's development facility in McGregor, Texas. This demonstrated that the Raptor engine has been optimized for the vacuum environment and is achieving a specific impulse of approximately 380 seconds. In comparison, the best Russian engine, the RD-180, has a specific impulse of around 338 seconds. The closest comparable engine is Blue Origin's BE-4, which is expected to have a specific impulse of around 311 seconds. Utilizing an efficient combustion cycle and relying on the same methane and oxygen propellant combination as SpaceX. This indicates that the Raptor vacuum engine is more efficient in converting propellant into thrust, allowing it to achieve higher speeds and longer duration missions with a certain amount of fuel. And compared to its predecessors, the Raptor vacuum engine has been optimized for power and suitability in the vacuum environment. It'll have a higher specific impulse than its siblings, Raptor 1 and Raptor 2, and even surpassed the recently announced Raptor 3 by Elon Musk. Whatever comes, it will have to come. With the development capabilities of SpaceX and the Raptor 3 engine, it is conceivable that the Raptor vacuum could still be upgraded to achieve an even higher specific impulse possibly up to 400 seconds, which is an impressive figure among all rocket engine lines. Additionally, one notable feature lies in the expansion ratio, which plays a vital role in the engine's overall performance. Things start to diverge below the throat of the combustion chamber, or the narrow part of the central hourglass-like curve, where SpaceX has expanded Raptor's existing bell nozzle by a factor of five or more. SpaceX's reusable Starship spacecraft will use a mix of three C-level Raptors and three Raptor vacuum engines to give it the thrust it needs to reach orbit and ensure efficient operations in both the atmosphere and vacuum. In simple terms, a rocket engine can benefit from a vacuum-optimized nozzle because the added surface area, more or less, gives the extremely high-pressure gases exiting its combustion chamber even more footholds to push against. Rocket nozzles are at their most efficient when the engine's exhaust gas finishes expanding to match ambient pressure at the exact moment it exits the bell. That is the expansion ratio of the engine. Logically, at sea level on Earth, the ambient air pressure is quite high, meaning that rocket exhaust doesn't have to expand as much to equalize. In the vacuum of space, however, exhaust gases must expand far more to reach the same pressure as their surroundings. For rocket propulsion, that extra expansion can be exploited to make a more efficient engine, squeezing extra energy out of the same propellant, and in a perfect vacuum, the most efficient nozzle would technically be infinite. According to Elon Musk, the expansion ratio for the RAP-VAC prototype stands at an impressive 107, higher than the estimated value for the regular Raptor engine. The significance of the expansion ratio cannot be overstated when it comes to vacuum engines. It directly influences the engine's ability to extract maximum performance from the exhaust gases. Rocket engines have many parts, of course, but the largest and most prominent is the nozzle, which channels the flow of exhaust gas. 
This exhaust originates in the combustion chamber where oxidizer and propellant combust. It is pushed through a narrow opening called a throat to accelerate it. Now traveling supersonic, the exhaust expands as it enters the nozzle and the longer and wider the nozzle is, the faster the exhaust moves. Faster gas coming out of a rocket engine is good because it delivers more thrust. More thrust means your rocket can lift more mass. An expanded nozzle therefore means better performance. So why don't all rocket engines have giant nozzles? This is mainly in part because of a phenomenon known as flow separation, which happens when the flow of gas inside an engine separates from the nozzle walls. This can induce turbulence and vibrations. In a worst case scenario, it could result in the engine blowing itself up. There is no absolute value for when this occurs, but the risk of flow separation increases when the pressure of exhaust exiting the nozzle falls below 50% of the ambient pressure. This isn't a problem in space where the atmospheric pressure is essentially zero. But at sea level, the larger the nozzle, the greater the risk of flow separation. To mitigate this phenomenon, careful design considerations must be made to ensure optimal engine performance and stability. As a prototype engine, the RAP VAC is optimized for development time. This means that certain design choices have been made to expedite the testing and iteration process. For instance, the nozzle size has been selected to be at the limit of what can be effectively tested in the atmosphere without encountering significant flow separation issues. While this choice aids in the development process, it also highlights the need for further optimization in the future. To prevent heat transfer from the RAPVAC engine's nozzle to the surrounding skirt, a regenerative cooling system has been implemented. In this system, methane, the propellant used by the engine, is pumped through the walls of the nozzle, effectively cooling it during firing. This approach is necessary because, unlike the Merlin vacuum engine where the nozzle is exposed to space, the RAPVAC's nozzle is situated within the skirt. Thus, it is essential to maintain a cool nozzle without inadvertently heating the surrounding structures. A notable aspect of the manufacturing technique for Raptor nozzles is the use of copper sheets and inconel. The process begins with a copper sheet from which channels are machined, creating the desired shape. This copper sheet is then sandwiched between two inconel sheets forming the channel walls. This manufacturing approach offers a departure from the laborious process of individually arranging and welding numerous pipes together, which was common for regeneratively cooled nozzles in older engine designs. The use of copper and inconel provides a robust and efficient solution for the RAPVAX nozzle construction. SpaceX's Raptor vacuum is a mysterious beast. We don't know much about it, except that it's a modified version of the C level Raptor engines. And as Elon Musk keeps tweaking and upgrading those Raptors, the Raptor vacuum will also benefit from his genius. But we haven't seen it in action yet. Starship 25 is still waiting for its date with the Raptor vacuum. Maybe they'll hook up by the end of the summer if Elon keeps his word. And we can't wait to watch them soar into the sky and part ways gracefully. Well folks, that wraps up our show for today. We hope you enjoyed learning more about the amazing progress over at SpaceX as well as the awesome power of the Raptor 3 vacuum engine. If you want to support our channel and get access to exclusive content, please consider becoming a patron by clicking on the Patreon link in the description below. We appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up.